Anything the knights can do for you? <laughs> Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to...
Oh, I should be in store. This abandoned temple does bear some marks of the Abyss, the Falcon of the West. Though it can soar in the wind, it ultimately does naught but hover under the light of the gods. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Let's head inside. The scent of the abyss is getting stronger. It's not far now. Paima wonders what the abyss girls look like. Do they look something like the abyss mages? Let's head further in first. If we do see that creature, that'll spare me the explanation either way. Take it. My royal decree, power core. 
Life goes on. <sighs> Sacred Moon, Fortune Preserver. Just a few abyss mages? Seems like that herald might have already left. The abyss. It is chaos, and it is also destruction. It is a morass of inconceivable madness that encroaches upon this world's very foundations. That is why even the Dragon of the East, a servant of a deity, was unable to resist its corrosive powers. And the creatures of the Abyss desire nothing less than the overthrow of a world ruled by the Archons. You seem to know a lot about the Abyss game. <laughs> well, we do have some history. I suppose that's as far as chit-chat goes. We should head to Wolvendom. Judging by the traces I'm following, their next appearance may be within the territory of that old wolf. Perhaps we may find our Abyss Herald there.
faster? Okay, faster. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Waiting for us up ahead? We should meet up with him quick, in case the wolves decide they don't like him. <laughs> Lord of Wolvendom, great wolf king of the north, sharp of fang and keen of claw. And yet dwelling here only. No, nor does it know me. I only know these things because a previous traveling companion of mine once wanted to hear its story. All right, let's go see if that Abyss Herald has stopped by here. But where do we begin? Hmm, are you standing here because of these strange bonfires, scene? Indeed. See that? Floating above the flames? It's an abyssal spell. Knowing what I do of the Order's habits, they've probably left similar marks behind elsewhere. Let's have a look nearby. Life goes 
As you wish me, Fräulein. <laughs> Like this bonfire's also got something to do with the abyss. Like the abyss really has been around here. Yikes! Where did these monsters pop out from? Let's clear them out and quick! Okay, faster. Feel the Witness my great undertaking! Have you finished searching? I searched around these parts and found some signs myself. But they were left behind by abyss mages, and there was no deeper abyssal power to them. It seems that even an abyss herald would not wish to make trouble with the Wolf King of the North. We should leave as well. If there's anything praiseworthy about that old wolf, it's his territorial nature. Give up? No. There is one more place we can go. Let's get a move on then. I'll wait for you at Storm Terror's lair. I've heard about what happened to you during Mondstadt's crisis. When you came, this place was known as Storm Terror's Lair. But I suppose that this place is more Lair than Storm Terror at this point. In fact, if my memory serves, this ruin has had largely nothing to do with that dragon for a long time. 
The first time I laid eyes upon the ruins of old Mondstadt, the Dragon of the East had yet to fall, much less come to nest in this place. Huh? But Paimon remembers that the Valen first got in trouble hundreds of years ago. Don't think too much about it. Do you remember the light actuators that once sealed this ruin? If the Abyss Order is interested in this location, then they will not neglect those mechanisms. Let's go see what the situation is at those light actuators. Ancient power. Feel the beat. Life goes on. Faster. Yeah. <laughs> 
come into being. Moment of birth. Feel the feet. Call not having to gaze upon such a creature a shame exactly. Still, I do believe that you will come across one eventually. N no, you're right. If it's a really powerful monster, it would be best to go around it. <sighs> How good it would be if all perils one encounters in their journeys could simply be solved by going around them. Once upon a time, yes. I simply have experience from adventuring together with that traveling companion. Uh, you know, Dean, you keep talking about that person this and that person that. Where are they now, anyway? She... <sighs> no longer travels. I'm afraid that traveling can be too exhausting at times. Oh. Is that how it is? Well, why are you traveling alone then? I still have some things left unfinished. Once they are done, I too will return home to rest. <sighs> yep! And it's good to have a home to come back to, isn't it? We camp out a lot when we travel. Hey, once you find your sibling, we should find a place to stay too, shouldn't we? Mondstadt's Fisherman's Toasts is pretty tasty, but Liyue's one-man restaurant is great, too. Eh, either way, we should settle down in a place where there's good food. Home. Hmm. Well, it won't be too late to think about where you stay once your journey reaches its end. While you're still traveling, you should... Familiar feeling, you say? It could be someone you know well, or perhaps a monster. Whichever it is, we should see it for ourselves, and thus see clearly. We can reach the top of that cliff from over there. Let's go. Whoa, Dean moves really fast, doesn't he? Let's use that wind current nearby to catch up. Can you still sense that familiar feeling that you spoke of earlier? But it doesn't feel like there's anything around here. No monsters, no people, nothing. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about this place. 
It doesn't look any different from the last time I was here. My traveling companion brought me here on our previous journey. Hmm. So, Dane, what about you? What's your favorite place? Me? I no longer remember. I merely followed that person around on that journey. That's all there was to it. Huh? A ruin guard's footprint. A ruin guard was wandering around here? No peace to be found. Perhaps that dandelion bears some sort of scent that only you recognize. As for why, has it perhaps experienced something related to you? Uh, you're saying some real confusing stuff. Paimon doesn't get it at all. Do not rush. Vexation and anxiety are the enemy of rational thought. Your journey has only just begun, has it not? At least you now know that she is still on this world. At this time, the most important thing is the journey to find her itself. Yes, and this is something you must keep in mind as the meaning behind your journey. May you find your kin at the end of that journey. Well then- Huh? You're leaving? Already? Only for now. Don't worry. We will meet again. After all, I did take 500 Mora and those three answers you gave me. Burst forth! 